Hi, today we are going to work on a cute little project and it's called a decorative circle and we're going to do something that's similar that you see on the screen here. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a font called Bambi Flower Stick, which you can find at Font Bundles. You will find the link for this below. And then, you're going, of course, you're going to need a circle. And that is it. So let's get going on this project. And I will show you the quick tips on how to do this. So let's click on New and replace what we have here. First thing is we want our circle and we are going to make a nice decorative circle out of this. I'm going to make it fairly large so that we can see it. I'm going to make this an 8 inch circle and I am going to change that to a color that we can work with. I will just make it purple for now so that we can see it. Now this is an 8 inch circle. What I want to do is just have an outline of a circle and a piece cut out. It's important to know that we have the piece cut out. I'm just going to uh, paste in the one that I have done ahead of time just so that you can see. This is the place where we want the circle not to show so that we have our pieces inside. So I need to duplicate this and I'm just going to make it another color, just a lighter color so we can see it. We know this guy is 8 inches. I probably want a quarter inch here. So for this one, we are going to go 7.75 and then I'm going to take the two of them, take them together. I am going to align them and align them center just like that. And then I'm going to take them together and slice them. I'm just going to take the circle, move it out and delete it. I don't need it. I don't need the inner circle here either. So now I have the circle that I'm going to use for our decoration. Right now it's set to cut, not to worry about it. But I want to put some of the decoration in place so I know how much I need to cut top and bottom. And we are going to do that with a font. So let's click on text. And I will just bring my text over here for now so that we can see it. I'm going to change the font by clicking on font and then system. We are going to use one called Bambi and it's called flower stick. So I'm just going to type in Bambi and there it is flower stick. I'm just going to grab that font and the reason I'm using this font is because when I separate it I can use some of the design. So let me just click on our text here select it all. I'm going to make it in all small letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And the reason I am doing it this way is because I want to see what all the different flowers are on the lowercase. Now what I'm going to do is another text box and let me just grab that text box, bring it here. Now I need to know what's in the font in all capitals. So I'm going to put my caps lock, do the same thing. B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And then I can see what I've got for flowers as well. These are a lot smaller. I will just make them bigger so that we can see them. And then we can decide what we want to put as a decoration on that outside circle. Now there are a number of different flowers we can choose. I had chosen this one for my sample, but we can choose anything that we want. Now for purposes for this, I think I'm going to continue to use one like this lotus leaf. So what I have to do is I need to ungroup my text so that I can grab what I want. Now there's the first leaf, so I'm just going to make it bigger and I can decide how I want this to go. So I am going to duplicate this and bring it over. I might give it a bit of a turn so that it's going to fit in easily and just sort of put it together so they're touching each other. I'm going to duplicate this I can also duplicate by holding down the Alt key. Let's go like this a little bit more. 
I like three in a row similar to this. Might just change the angle on this one just a little bit. There we go. We've got three of these. Now I could leave the three together or I can take the center one out and decide that I want something totally different inside. I can pick on a different one. So we could, for example, let's grab this heart and then just bring it in and have it grow. Just move this out of the way just because I want them just to touch just a little bit and bring this in so it just touches a little bit. Now I'm pretty happy with that. I think that will work just fine for what our decoration is going to be. So I'm going to select all three of those flowers. Of course I'm going to group them and I'm going to change them from a basic cut to a draw. So let's just make them a pen. And that's so that I can see I want to cut out part of this circles so that the line is not coming through and as you can see I need to go from this point to this point here so it's not going to show. So when, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab another shape and I'm just going to grab a square and I'm just going to put it over top to where I see where it's intersecting here the piece I want to get rid of I am going to unlock it I'm going to drag it down so it just comes to the part where I want to get rid of the other piece. Now that looks good. It just hides the flowers and is only going to cut out one piece. So I'm going to shift click so I get the circle and the square and I am going to slice them. Now I can get rid of the square piece and you can see there's a black piece on top here. I can get rid of that and there's a purple piece, I can get rid of that. Now you can see where these all fit together. Now I can expand this just a little bit so that it covers right into that particular item so that there's no gaps. I'm going to grab all of these together, make sure there's no gaps. Take them all together like this. I am going to weld them together now I am going to change this whole thing from a draw back to a cut. I'm going to make it a basic cut and I am going to make it that nice purple. So now when you cut out your circle you have a little design inside. You don't have the line coming through. It is very easy. So we used a circle and we used the Bambi flower stick font and that's all there is to this project. Have a great crafting week.